All right, the completion of the acorn squash. It has been about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, that we've been baking the acorn squash. I went in and tested it a couple times. I just tested it about five minutes ago, and it's ready to go. And we're going to pull it out now. And it's nice and tender. You can just test it with your finger a little bit like that so you'll know what to do. Now, to serve it, just throw it on your serving platter. This is such a nice fall like vegetable. This is a great item to serve with Thanksgiving or a Halloween party dinner, or any time during the fall, or during Christmas, or the uh, December holidays, whichever they happen to be for you. Look at that. Now, here I have the butter and the brown sugar here mixed together. Now we'll just take some of the butter and pour it over the top. Uh, Lewis, Lewis, let me have some of that brown sugar that's over there. Please. Now, if you think there's a little too much butter on there, you don't want your stuff looking too greasy now. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more brown sugar just for fun, not much. Just a little bit more along the top like that there. And it'll get soft on there right away too. Now the squash has got that underlying sweet flavor to it. And we're going to sprinkle a little chopped parsley on it that people like so much. That, uh, that nice under, undercurrent sweet flavor from the brown sugar. Again, this is very basic, but this is incredibly delicious. You'll really like this. And can it be reheated? The following day, yes, it can. Um, I would reheat it in the oven, cover it up a little bit like I did with the aluminum foil. So there you have it, baked acorn squash, great for the holidays, with brown sugar, butter, and some chopped parsley. You enjoy this dish, and make sure you make this one, because um, you, you'll never know how good it is if you don't.